and welcome to our morning devotions for Tuesday, July 27, 2021, sponsored by the Anglican Diocese of the Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands. I am the Rev. Hugh Bartlett, Jr., Rector St. Anne's Anglican Church, Fox Hill, New Providence. Today is an ordinary day in the life of the Church, and we use the colic for proper twelve. May we pray. O oh God, the protector of all who trust in you, without whom nothing is strong, nothing is holy. Increase and multiply upon us your mercy, that with you as our ruler and guide, we may so pass through things temporal, that we lose not the things eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 13, verses 36 to 43. Then he left the crowds and went into the house. And his disciples approached him, saying, Explain to us the parable of the weeds of the field. He answered, The one who sows the good seed is the Son of Man. The field is the world, and the good seed are the children of the kingdom. The weeds are the children of the evil one, and the enemy who sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age, and the reapers are angels. Just as weeds are collected and burned up with fire, so will it be at the end of the age. The Son of Man will send his angels, and they will collect out of his kingdom all causes of sin and all evildoers and they will throw them into the furnace of fire, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their Father. Let anyone with heirs listen. The word of the Lord. And I speak to you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. As we listen to the explanation of the parable of the wheat and tares, we hear the reality of the existence of good and evil in the world. The harvest or the end of the age is judgment time that each person must face. Not having the experience of farming wheat, I must rely on descriptions provided by farmers. Perhaps the one most significant thing we need to know about the wheat and the tares is that they closely resemble each other, especially in the initial stages of their growth. We can also note that the root systems of the two plants often are so intertwined that it is impossible to remove one without uprooting the other. This close resemblance of the wheat and tares tells us that the intimate details will be needed to judge a person. And one thing we know is that only God and the individual knows these intimate details. All of us are dealt different hands by life, and some people get off to a rough start and may make a lot of mistakes, whereas another person may seem to be living a Steam perfect life, having it all together, including a wonderful relationship with the Lord in the power of the Holy Spirit. One may so resemble to the natural eye all that seem holy, righteous, and upright, that in our minds we surely are seeing the Lord's anointed before us. This may be reality, but you just never know. The book of Job tells us that Satan presented himself with the heavenly beings. We cannot tell, and it is not our job to judge because we only have partial knowledge of the situation. We do not know the heart of the individual. We can also note that Judas Iscariot was one of the original twelve disciples, and he betrayed Jesus. The parable of the wheat and tares offers us the insight that judgment is real and that we will be held accountable. The children of God will be rewarded by life in his presence, whereas the children of the evil one will experience weeping and gnashing of teeth. We have the power of choice. We can choose to be humble, contrite, and forgiving rather than arrogant, rude, 
selfish and sinful, choose God's way and seek to bury our selfish desire. When we are wrong, let us say sorry. When there is friction and we are involved, let us seek to bring peace and make things right, even if we are not in the wrong. Let us seek to learn to get along here on earth, because there is no room for strife envy and discord in heaven, and we are preparing to go to heaven. Be a wheat that is a child of God, a child of the kingdom, and seek to live at peace with others. May we pray. Almighty and eternal God, so draw our hearts to you, so guide our minds, so fill our imagination, so control our wills, that we may be wholly yours, utterly dedicated unto you, and then use us, we pray you, as you will, and always to your glory and the welfare of your people, through our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you for joining us for these devotions, and please feel free to share them with as many people as possible. Have a blessed and awesome day. Oh, oh.